Good day folks, today I'm going to show you how to use Dropbox on your Android phone. So let's get into it. As you can see here, I have the app downloaded and if you haven't not yet, you can just dial in Dropbox in your Play Store and it'll come up. You can just go ahead and install it for free. You want to make sure that you are signed in with an account and if you want to make your life easier, sign in with the same account that you've potentially signed in on other devices. Now, as you can see right at the top over here, we have a few options such as share. Now, the share option will allow you to share this entire folder. So if we go into share here, you can share this entire folder. You can invite other people. You can also just get a link right from here and you can also change access. So this is a link for editing, which means anybody with access is allowed to edit and have full control over all of the files within this folder. If you just click on this link for viewing, then whoever has access will only have access to view and not actually download or do anything more. From here, you can also go ahead and tap on upload and this will open your device storage and you can now just select the files, images, videos or whatever else is supported and you can have that uploaded to your Dropbox. Now, if you want to create a folder here, you can just go ahead and tap on folder and here you can create a new folder and this will now be placed within this folder. Now, if you'd like to go ahead and move this folder, you can go up to the top right hand side of the screen, tap on the three dots, tap on more options and right at the bottom, you'll see move. From here, you can move this to any location. Again, you can go ahead and tap on the plus icon, and this is the view if you don't have anything in the actual folder. So let's go back to our previous folder. And in here, each one of these items, you can go ahead and tap on the three dots and you will have the option to share this individual item. And this will not give access to the entire folder, but just the actual file itself. You can also manage the access straight from here. So you can change, as we mentioned earlier, the control. So if you go down to link settings, you can change it from viewing only to view and edit. You can also add a password if you would need to do that. Going over now to the rest of the options, you can also move this item from folder to folder. You can also rename it, duplicate it. And if you need to open it in an external or a third party app, you can go ahead and do so. If you are connected to a printer, maybe via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, you can go and print it directly without even having to download it. Now, this is a fantastic app and I use it to move items from my phone to my computer and vice versa. If this was a helpful guide, please do drop us a like and we will see you next time.